What's up everyone, it's your boy Quicksand tapping in for episode 109 of Mindset Monday. And in today's episode, we're gonna go over four different upper body and lower body exercises that you can do with these two bands. We have a purple band and we have a black band. The purple band has a lot more resistance to it and obviously this is gonna be less. So I'm gonna show you the movements that you can do with them. And all you need is a stable surface, like a power rack, any type of pole, anything where it's gonna be stable and not move as you're performing these exercises. So the first one is gonna be a row. We're gonna go into like a seated row position. So seated would be here, having our butt down, our knees can be just straight up, shin level, shin is parallel, down in the stance, and we're bringing our elbows towards our rib cage. We're gonna go for 20 repetition. Ready, let's go. Four, five, 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 and five. Good. So I like to just do five, 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 five. That way I don't have to count all the way to 20. And mentally, when you only know that you have to go to five, it makes it a lot easier on your mind to be able to get through the exercise. Now, the next one we're gonna do is Wrapping the band around, putting the band within itself. Now it's tied to the power rack. And then from here, we're gonna drop, drop it down a little bit lower. And we're gonna go into a split stance. Left foot forward, right foot back, right hand in the band, and then bringing it to our chest level, dropping the back leg. So now we're in a lunge position, holding this band here, and then we're gonna go for 15 reps. Two, three, four, five, two, three, four. Now you can go for reps or you can go for time. And speaking of time, I'll put the timer on. So you can go for 15 reps, 20 reps, 25, whatever you want. And then you can also go for 30 seconds, a minute, 45 seconds. I'm just gonna go for 15 here. Dropping that back leg, keeping it stable, chest up high. Two, three, four. And you'll feel the burn in your legs, as well as your arms, your biceps, your shoulders, your triceps. Okay, so it's gonna be a little mix of everything. So that's the second move. The third move, we're gonna go one arm in, one leg forward, one leg back, left arm up, and we're gonna go for a punch across. Three, four, we're going for eight, five, six, seven, eight. Making sure you get that full rotation so you can get your core, your obliques, but also get your hips involved and get that hip lockout. Other leg forward. One, two, three. Good, that was the third move. Now for the last move, you don't need any power rack. You just need the band in your own body. So, Hands go in the band like this. We put the band on our back as so, on the upper traps. Now from here, we go down into push-up position. So wrist, elbow, shoulder in alignment, and then go down for the push-up. As you come up, the band is gonna give you some resistance. Four, five, six, Again, you can go for as many as you can, going for 10 for you guys. So now I showed you all the moves. Now let's repeat it at least one more time. If I have enough time to go for two more rounds, then we'll do two more rounds. And so the lesson of the day here is to continuously put in the work, but also continue to learn. Never stop learning. These are moves that I learned at one point in time, and I implemented them into my routine. And so I want you to now learn these movements 
to take them to your routine to get stronger, get better as an athlete or as just your overall physique to help you out. And these, these movements are fun. They're not like very difficult. They can only be as difficult as you make them. You can do all these movements with um, a band that's more intense, that gives more resistance, or you can go less. But the point is, is that you need to show up. And if you're not showing up consistently, then you won't have consistent results and you won't get to where you want to go. Get it done. One, two. Stay low in the stance, chest up high. Because it's either you're going to show up and put in the work or there's going to be somebody out there who's showing up and putting in the work and getting better as a result. And if you're an athlete, the competition is high, either in your, on your team, in your city, in your state, and even out the country. There's people across the world who are working harder than you, who are 12 hours ahead, 15 hours ahead. And if you're not continuously putting in the work, you're gonna fall behind. And so if you know that someone out there is always working, you're gonna have that drive to get where you wanna go. Show up. Left foot forward, right leg back. Going for eight. And these moves are good. That move particularly is good for boxers too. Get a good punch, get power all the way through your hips. Staying low in that stance, using that back leg to get power, pushing through. Ah. And you're gonna make mistakes and mess up. There's always another shot. And this move in particular right here, the split stance paloff press. This one, staying in this stance alone is gonna help with getting my quads stronger, my hamstrings and my glutes. So that way my knee can be protected when I'm pooping, when I'm playing ball, when I'm working out, exercising. And so this move is great for lower and upper. Stay in the stance. We'll go for 20 this time. Drop that back knee. Fifteen. Now the push-ups. The last two weeks, I'd say, I've been going out and playing basketball, half court, kind of getting moving, even some full court games, getting up and down. And I'm noticing almost immediately after playing for a couple minutes, running up and down, that my conditioning is not where it used to be and it's not where it should be to be able to be consistent as, as a player. I'm finding that I'm getting really tired quickly. And when you're tired as a basketball player, you can't be effective. My shot was short. I was feeling winded. So it's affecting my ability to like think the way I know I should be thinking. Actually, I started overthinking the game instead of just getting to my spots and flowing because I'm trying to catch my breath. So you gotta get in shape. I gotta get in shape. And it's one thing to just be in shape as a basketball player, meaning like your muscles are right, you feel strong, but it's another thing to actually be in basketball shape being meaning like conditioning wise. And the best way to get better for that, you can use the treadmill, you can use the bike, but getting out and actually playing ball and understanding that the game 
is very intense. There's a lot of running, there's a lot of sharp cuts, lateral movements, jumping, gotta play defense, staying low in the stance. All of that takes a toll on your body and it tests your conditioning. And so that's one of the best ways to get better is to play ball, practice hooping. And so that's what I need to do more of. I think two weeks ago on a Friday, I was playing ball for a couple hours and towards the end of the session, I started feeling a sharp pain on the, say like the right side of my kneecap. And then I had to stop playing. So I started listening to my body and I just cut it short. I took off back home, went to go ice. Next couple of days, started doing some rehab, ice wise, kind of just resting, doing some stretching. And so I'm just doing whatever it takes to keep my body healthy, keep my body happy, and to keep myself on the court, but also keeping myself in, in condition. So that way, mentally, I feel better. Because when I can't move, when I feel some pain in my knee, honestly, it's like depressing, you know what I mean? So I gotta, to the best of my ability, work on my body, work on my game, play it safe, and continue to have fun with the game. And so same thing for you guys, whatever you need to do to put in work, do that and be consistent when it comes to that. Cause it's only going to help you. We'll go a minute. We're going for a minute. Let's go as many as I can do in a minute. And then I'll end the video like this. How you doing? You as well. Trying to act like I'm not tired right there. I'm out of breath. Ah, switching. If that happens, you get tired, switch, but keep putting in the work. I set myself up for that one. Try to get a mini with the purple band. Gotta work my way up to that. You can go slow, you can go quick. You can hold the top position, or you can just try to go as fast as you can. Time. That's a wrap for this video. Thank you all for watching. Remember, there's always somebody out there who's wisely taking advantage of every minute and second of the day in order to get better. And so you have to make the decision to show up and put in the work and understand that it's always going to take patience and time. But in the end, it's always going to work out. Please share this with someone who you know can benefit. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Tap out.